Well, let's just bring you some uh, news breaking in the last few minutes. It's the UK Health Security Agency, which has just released a briefing about its work on the Omicron variant. It seems that more than half of the people in the UK with the variant have been double jabbed. Our science correspondent, Thomas Moore, has been looking at the data. They've looked at the, the 22 cases that were known up to the end of November, and they found 12 had been fully vaccinated, had at least two doses. Uh, two cases had had uh, at least one dose, uh, and six uh, hadn't been vaccinated. Two, there was no vaccination uh, status. Now, it's not, it's a, at face value, that will look quite alarming that there are so many people who have been fully vaccinated who are developing the Omicron variant. But remember, too, that the vast majority of the UK population is now vaccinated. Most Delta cases are also in the fully vaccinated. That in itself shouldn't be a concern. Uh, but I think we're going to have to wait a few more days, perhaps even weeks, before we've got a full idea on how well the vaccines are protecting against this new variant. They also uh, look at their surveillance for this variant. They say there's no trace yet, uh, no significant trace of the, of the variant in wastewater. They do sampling of the sewage systems just to look for uh, DNA or uh, genetic material from the, from the viruses uh, there. Um, but that was only up until the November the 21st, and they're doing some more analysis. They also do PCR tests looking for what's called an S-gene dropout. That's indicative of Omicron and various other variants, but it is separate to Delta. Delta doesn't have this, uh, this dropout. Uh, and so it's a real red flag that they're looking for at the moment. And they say that in, in the last week, cases of this uh, S-gene dropout have risen by 141%. So certainly that is what they call uh, an early signal uh, of concern, something they're going to look at very, very closely.